There was a time when Houston dreamed of building a monument to progress, a structure that wouldn't just connect two shores, but would also symbolize the ambition of a city rising as one of the industrial capitals of the modern world. It was the Ship Channel Bridge, a project destined to become the crown jewel of Texas infrastructure, an engineering marvel that promised to reshape the skyline and redefine how the nation envisioned the future. It was designed to last a century, strong enough to withstand hurricanes, fleets of trucks, and the relentless weight of a million wheels marking the daily pulse of North American commerce. But what began as a dream of greatness slowly turned into a nightmare of colossal proportions, a cautionary tale showing the world how even the brightest minds can lose themselves in their own reflection of perfection. If you're drawn to the real stories behind the structures that shape our world, subscribe to the channel. Every story we tell could save lives. It all started with a simple idea. Build two parallel bridges, each a masterpiece of contemporary design. Towers would rise toward the sky like arms of concrete embracing the air, and cables would fan out in angles mimicking the elegance of modern sculpture. It was the kind of project cities proudly showcase, the kind of structure that draws photographers, tourists, awards, and headlines. But in that hunger to make history, something essential was lost something invisible, tragic, and irreplaceable, prudence. For months, engineers debated the perfect form, discussing proportions that would make the towers appear to float above the channel. They spoke of innovation, aesthetics, and the chance to create something iconic. No one wanted to admit that, deep down, priorities had shifted. This was no longer just about building a bridge, it was about building a symbol. And in that pursuit, mathematics began to clash with pride. The blueprints were as ambitious as they were risky. Those curved supports that gave the structure its personality weren't just an artistic choice, they were a physical challenge. Wind forces, traffic loads, vibrations, and material fatigue began sketching an equation no one could fully predict. Calculations on a computer screen turned into hypotheses disguised as certainty. And every design line seemed to whisper the same thing. Trust us, it will work. But engineering doesn't forgive blind faith, neither does nature. Between 2018 and 2020, Houston lived through a story that could have ended in tragedy. While construction inched forward, hundreds of miles away in Miami, a small pedestrian bridge collapsed. The failure was sudden, brutal, and instantaneous. Six lives were lost in seconds. The name of the engineering firm behind it, FIG Engineering, became synonymous with failure. And unknowingly, that disaster exposed a truth that might have remained buried beneath tons of concrete. FIG was the very same company responsible for the structural design of the Ship Channel Bridge. What happened in Miami became a warning Houston could not ignore. Authorities ordered an immediate review. A team of independent engineers was assembled. Experts trained to look where others won't, to find what no one wants to see. When they began analyzing the plans, what they discovered chilled everyone involved. 21 critical areas of concern. 21 potential failure points that could compromise the entire bridge's stability. The reports weren't ambiguous or overly technical, they were terrifying. Wind resistance calculations were wrong. Foundation safety margins were insufficient. The curved joints where the towers bent created impossible stress concentrations. Every simulation model yielded different results and some simply defied physics. The design meant to defy gravity was in fact on the verge of violating it. Houston now faced a decision that would define its history. Continue building a structure that could become a ticking time bomb or halt everything, absorb the losses and start over. No one wanted to bear that weight. Every passing day meant millions more, lost, more delays, more political pressure. But there was something heavier than money or time, conscience. The auditor's final report left no room for doubt. If the bridge opened as designed, the risk of collapse was real. A structural failure during rush hour could trigger a catastrophe beyond imagination. And so in 2020, Houston made a painful but inevitable choice. Demolish what had been built, fire those responsible, and begin from scratch. Within weeks, $300 million worth of work was reduced to rubble and dust, a physical reminder of the cost of arrogance. In the silence that followed as machines tore down freshly erected columns, a new team took over. COWI and SYSTRAIBT assumed control of the redesign. Their first directive was clear, no more unnecessary risks. Safety, stability, and predictability would come first, 
The new bridge wouldn't be a sculpture, it would be a structure. Curved towers gave way to straight piers. Concrete sections were reinforced with steel. Anchoring systems were simplified. Experiments were scrapped. Aesthetic ambitions scaled back. And the focus returned to what truly matters. A bridge must above all carry lives, not applause. The transformation was radical. The new design lacked the visual elegance of the original, but every calculation, every test, every model underwent scrutiny bordering on obsession. Engineers ran dynamic analyses, hurricane simulations, and extreme load tests. They were determined that no error, no matter how small, would slip through. This time, no one was willing to guess, but the price was devastating. Timelines stretched by years, costs ballooned beyond imagination. What was supposed to cost $1.2 billion soared to $1.5 billion. And the schedule, promising completion by 2021, now pointed to 2028. Seven years of delay, seven years of waiting for a bridge that symbolized not just rebuilt concrete, but rebuilt trust. Throughout history, every civilization has measured its greatness in its own way. The Romans built aqueducts, the Egyptians built pyramids, the 21st century builds bridges, skyscrapers, and impossible tunnels. But what happened in Houston revealed something that transcends engineering, a pattern of collective blindness. In the age of digital design, flawless renders, and obsession with the iconic, safety had been pushed to the background. Cities no longer wanted just functional infrastructure. They wanted symbols, symbols that dazzle in photos, attract investment, and stir civic pride. But every bold curve and unconventional form carries a cost that isn't always paid in dollars. The averted tragedy in Houston left a deep wound in the engineering community. Protocols were revised, new regulations imposed, and a new standard of independent verification established. The Federal Highway Administration issued guidelines requiring that any unconventional design undergo external review, more rigorous simulations, and audits at every phase. It was the response of a system that had teetered on the edge of moral and technical collapse. Yet beyond regulations and numbers, the Ship Channel Bridge case left a quieter but more powerful lesson. The value of humility. Because in engineering, as in life, beauty cannot be the goal if it endangers what's essential. The designers of the new bridge learned that true elegance lies not in what you see, but in what you don't. The precision of an invisible calculation. The quiet confidence of a driver crossing daily without ever wondering what holds them up. Tons of concrete defying the laws of the universe. Today, the bridge slowly rises toward completion. Its more modest towers stand with a different kind of dignity. Not seeking admiration, but fulfilling a purpose. Under the Texas sun, crane shadows fall across a structure whose foundations carry the scars of a monumental error and the strength of a hard-won lesson. Every bolt, every cable, every concrete block is the result of a painstaking process of review and correction that cost years and fortunes. But guaranteed one thing, no one would die because of a mistake disguised as genius. As trucks and crews press forward, the sounds along the channel echo with something that feels like redemption. The clang of steel, the ring of hammers, the roar of machines that no longer destroy but rebuild. And in that sound lies a story bigger than any bridge. The story of how a mistake, faced with honesty, can become a turning point. Because this project is more than a technical lesson, it's a universal warning. Every city dreaming of its own iconic bridge, every government betting on spectacle, should look to Houston and remember, engineering is not an act of faith, but of responsibility. Every design decision is ultimately a decision about human lives. The Ship Channel Bridge won't be the most beautiful. It won't grace postcards or architecture magazines. But perhaps that's its greatest triumph. Because its existence marks a paradigm shift, the end of an era where ego drove blueprints, and the beginning of one where safety is once again the foundation. If you believe stories like this must be told, with rigor, soul, and courage, subscribe now. Because behind every structure is a lesson the world needs to hear. In 2028, when its lanes finally open, thousands of drivers will cross this bridge without ever knowing the history buried beneath the asphalt. They won't know they once stood on the edge of a disaster that never happened. They won't know their daily commute is held up by difficult choices, invisible sacrifices, and the bravery of those who said enough when everyone else wanted to push forward. But each of them, unknowingly, will be part of a promise kept, that ambition will never again outweigh duty. And perhaps in that quiet anonymity lies the bridge's true beauty.
Not in its form, but in its purpose. Not in its shine, but in its strength. Not in what it shows, but in what it prevents. Because the greatness of a structure isn't measured by how many photos it inspires, but by how many lives it protects, without anyone ever noticing. The $1.5 billion failure of the Ship Channel Bridge wasn't really a failure at all. It was a mirror, one that forced a nation to confront its own cracks, its distorted priorities, and its need to rediscover what it truly means to build with integrity. Behind every bolt is a story. Behind every corrected calculation is a name. Behind every prudent decision is a reminder of what's at stake when we forget that engineering, before it is art or science, is an act of service. And so, when the bridge finally rises over the channel, its lights glowing in the Texas night, it won't be a monument to failure, but to learning. A silent reminder that our mistakes don't define us by their scale, but by how we choose to face them. A tribute not to perfection, but to the courage to start over. Because in the end, the Ship Channel Bridge doesn't just connect two shores of Houston, it connects two eras of engineering, one ruled by vanity and another, finally, guided by truth. Subscribe to the channel. Because building the future begins with understanding the past.